So before start the session, so let us fix our agenda. What exactly we're going to be discussing for today? Let us fix our agenda. Let us fix our agenda. So today is the first demo. Today is the first demo which we are conducting. So totally this course is Azure Administration and Azure DevOps. These two will be covered. Azure Administration and as well as Azure DevOps. Two courses will be covered. So but today our agenda is what? What is DevOps, which we are going to be discussing for today? That is an exactly our agenda for today. Tomorrow, we're going to be discussing about what is a job and what is the difference between a job versus DevOps. That is an exactly class for tomorrow. Today, we are focused on. What exactly? Azure DevOps. Azure DevOps is exactly our agenda for today's session. And before starting the session, what exactly this course overview? Let us try to understand course overview. So today, so we're going to be understand DevOps and uh, right now we're discussing about course uh, totally Azure DevOps we are going to be covered and Azure administration. These two courses will be covered. So within five months, what are the total duration of this case, please? Five months duration, total duration is five months. When this five months of duration, complete Azure DevOps, complete Azure administration will be covered. And if you want to join in this course, which are all the basics required, Linux basics required, and shell script required, that I will be covered. Don't. And second, no programming, Java, .NET, Python is not required. If you have already, very good. But so for daily practice, you require a laptop with this minimum configuration. If it is more than the, this, also very good. And who can join in this course? Yes, freshers can join in this course. Experienced students can join in this course. And any graduate can also join in this course. Daily class, which are all the benefits? Yes, please, if you join in this course, which are all the benefits? A daily class recording videos after the payment. Daily class recording videos after the payment. Via Google Drive, you can access. Via Google Drive, you can access. So from date of registration, you're going to be accessing up to 11 months. The recording access will be up to 11 months. Resume preparation, interview question and answers, interviews, question and answers, 80% of soft material, 80% of soft material, and uh, I'm going to be providing with you. Our course starts with what exactly? Basic level. Finish with what? An advanced. Finish with what? An advanced level. And each and every session is a practically implemented in front of each. Each and every session is a practically implemented. certificate from our institute daily one hour class daily one hour class 6 a.m to 7 a.m it is a fixed 6 a.m to 7 a.m it is a fixed so the classes are monday to saturday 
the classes are monday to saturday so there is no classes on sunday so it's going to be you're going to be paying 12000 rupees so but actually 12 but uh, for this batch it is around 10000 rupees please talk to edwin they will help you out of this and for this whatever amount you're going to be paying for complete azure devops for complete azure administration for delhi recordings and uh, so if you want to talk to redmin please call to redmin 92979277 and then you can whatsapp also this is our course content link whatever i'm delivering so if you copy paste if you if you copy paste in any browser and you can able to see your uh, course or you what exactly i'm going to be cover in devops what exactly i'm going to be cover in azure please look at once please be look at once please it is devops content it is totally 20 pages of devops content totally 20 pages of uh, devops content 10 pages of uh, azure content please be look at once please so but before starting this demonstration let it be introduce myself my name is maha i have uh, totally 15 years of it experience my career starts as a java dal then i turn as a devops engineer from last 5 years onwards i'm working as a senior devops engineer including azure and aws also that is an exactly my profile that is an exactly my profile but before starting i have a three questions i want to discuss with you i want to come to know these three questions let us understand these three questions then we'll move forward into the devops so so what are the first question guys please what is an application what is an exactly application so the working software what is an application the working software which is written any programming language like java dotnet python we are called as an application that application we going to be placed on server side we going to be placed on server side once if it is placed on server side and we can access our internet as a website like flipkart or amazon book my show let it be repeat one more time what is an application the working software which is written any programming language we call as an application that application we going to be placed on we going to be placed on server side once if it is placed on server side then we can able to access our internet as a website so what is an application what is a server we understood very clearly but what about sdlc what about sdlc sdlc is a software development life cycle sdlc is a software development life cycle in sdlc we have several stages and several phases which are all those guys please let us try to understand analysis design implementation testing deploy and maintenance by following these are all the stages and phases and we can able to produce an application and we can able to do business in internet like flipkart or amazon book my show what is an sdlc guys please sdlc is a software development life cycle by helping of sdlc we can produce an application and we can able to do business in internet like flipkart or amazon book my show clear all of you is it perfect but so for example if you want to produce a flipkart kind of application a redbus kind of application so how exactly we can can able to build overnight no it is not possible it will take couple of weeks couple of months and by following what sdlc by following what exactly okay. software development life cycle so what are the first one guys please analysis means if you want to build a flipkart kind of website so what are the first step guys we need to follow analysis we need to analysis what exactly this business 
what exactly the login page, what exactly the registration page, what exactly the client is expecting, what is the client requirement, what are the payment gateway, what are the business model, and each and everything will be gathered from the client based on gathering information, our architects will be designed. Once if it is designed, then our developers will implement the lines of code by using Java, .NET, Python, whatever name. Once if it is an implementer, our tests will be verified. Our tests will be verified whether the application is working or not, how exactly it is functioning. And each and everything will be verified. Once if it is verified, we're going to be placed on hundreds of servers. We're going to be placed on hundreds of servers, which we are calling as what deploy. Which we are calling as what? Deployment. Which you are calling as what? Deployment. Once if it is deployed and we're going to be, we're going to be, we're going to be accessing our internet as a website and whether this website is working or not we're going to be monitor and main this entire process which we are calling as what software development life cycle if you are a software engineer directly or indirectly you are part of this diagram you are part of this diagram if you are a developer can write the lines of code if you are a tester can verify the functionality but if it is a DevOps engineer, what exactly you are doing? What is exactly your roles and responsibilities in this SDLC process as a DevOps engineer? Let us try to understand what is it, what is an exactly DevOps engineer does here. First, what is a DevOps please? DEV is nothing but what? Software development life set. DEV is nothing but what? Do software development. OPS is nothing but what? Operation. So that means what? The combination of software development plus operation which we are calling as what devops so so i'll repeat so combination of software development plus operation is nothing but what devops that means what exactly our roles and responsibilities start from the environment ends with what operation as the devops engineer our roles and responsibilities start from the environment ends with what operation means we are part of coding, build, test, release, deploy, operation, and monitor, and monitoring. But to be frankly, we are not, we are, we are not writing any lines of code. We are not writing any test cases. Just we are going to be in implementing an automated process. Just we are in implementing an automated DevOps process from the environment to operation. That is in exactly our roles and responsibilities. But question is, is DevOps is a technology? No. DevOps is not a technology. DevOps is a process. DevOps is a, an automated process devops is a an automated process it is not a technology like java.net python it is not a technology devops is a process so usually what will happen usually what will happen developers are keep on writing lines of code. developers are keep on writing lines of code. as a devops engineer we're going to be maintain these lines of code and we're going to be delivering into the production environment. We're going to be delivering into the production environment within a shortest time with high quality, with low cost, with an automated way is nothing but what our DevOps process. What is an exactly a DevOps process? Whatever the lines of code is written by developer, the lines of code, it's going to be delivering into the production environment within a shortest time with high quality, with low cost is nothing but what are DevOps transparent pipe. So by using DevOps, 
what is an exactly a result of what is an exactly an advantage what we can able to hit you while we delivering working software from dev environment to production environment and we can able to deliver as soon as possible as fastest as fast and frequently we can deliver while delivering is very easy and improve the number of deployments also and we can able to deliver with a high quality with low cost with low failure rate is nothing but what our devops process our devops process but tell me as a devops engineer what exactly you are going to be do when you are getting into the company what is the major role what is the major role as the devops engineer we going to be sorry we going to be replacing with what complex pipeline with what transparent pipeline we going to be replacing with what complex pipeline with what transparent pipeline is an exactly devops engineer roles and responsible so what is an exactly complex pipeline what is an exactly transparent pipeline let us try to understand so our sdlc process is a complex so why we are calling sdlc is a complex because if it is a manual process because if it is a manual process from analysis to design design to implementation implementation testing testing to deploy deploy to maintenance it is a it is a manual process it is a, a manual process so while implementing this manual process if you got an issue any problem any error any problem so for identification it will take long time for identification it will take long time for after identification also for resolving issue also it will take long time. so if it is take long time definitely the cost will be increased any product if you delivering as long as delayed that means what cost automatically increased and quality will be quality will be decreased quality will be decreased so so whenever you got an error okay for identification it will take long time for resolving issue will it will take long time if it is delayed definitely so cost will be increased quality will be decreased so that reason so we going to be replacing with what our devops transparent pipeline we going to be replacing with what devops a transparent pipeline so devops is a an automated a transparent pipeline so due to this transparent pipeline due to this an automated transparent pipeline so even though if you got an issue any problem in the middle of the process easily we can able to identify and easily we can able to rectify as soon as possible as shortest as possible that means what definitely cost is reduced quality will be increased so as a devops engineer we are going to be replacing with what complex pipeline with what our transparent pipeline but actual devops transparent pipeline is look like this only but in this devops transparent pipeline we have a plan coding integration testing release deploy and operations and operations please and so in this devops transparent pipeline our roles and responsibility start from here ends with what operation our roles and responsibility start from dev environment ends with what operations so that means what so we are part of dev environment we are part of integration we are part of testing we are part of release we are part of deploy and release to be frankly we are not doing any planning we are not writing any coding we are not writing any test cases just we are going to be in implementing an automated devops transparent pipeline from dev environment to operations
this is an exactly our devops process but while implementing whatever the lines of code while implementing this devops process whatever the lines of code is implemented by developer that's going to be delivering into the production environment within a shortest time with high quality with low cost with low failure it is nothing but what our devops an automated transparent pipeline but let us try to understand roles and responsibility each and every stage what is in exactly our roles and responsibilities let us try to understand right now. yeah please tell me so are we part of planning no forget about this are we part of coding yes are we part of part, part of coding yes that means what are we going to be writing anything no writing is responsible by the developer not by you once if it is written by developer those lines of code is going to be maintenance by devops engineer writing by maintenance by devops engineer so but once if it is maintained how many developer writing code n number of developers n number of developers writing continuously am i right morning to evening every day the developers are continuously writing lines of code but those lines of code as a devops engineer we going to be integrate continuous developers are continuously writing a code as a devops engineer we are maintaining all developer lines of code and continuously integrating automatically all developer lines of code once if it is integrated whether it is working or not we have to execute our test cases we are not writing any test cases we are not writing any test cases just we are going to be integrated test cases which is written by testers once if it is in execute once if it is in execute if you got an error once if it is in execute if you got an error so that it is going to be redirecting back to the developer the developer has to fix an issue again integration again execute test case again we got an error again it is redirecting back to the developer developer has to fix an issue again integration execute so this loop will be repeated until zero errors if it is zero errors what we are calling the working software as an application if it, if there is an error the definitely the software is working condition without error definitely that that which you are calling as what application that application so we going to be placed on we going to be delivering we going to be delivering into the release how continuously 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 delivering into the release so once if it is deliver continuously from there itself we going to be placed on hundreds of servers we going to be placed on hundreds of production servers which you are calling as well the group once if it is deployed and we can access our internet as a website and whether it is working or not we are going to be monitor and maintenance this entire process which you are calling as what devops process but that which we are going to be implementing as a devops but question is how we are going to be implement directly we can implement implement no. we are going to be using some tools type which are all the tools that we going to be learning for implementing this devops process let us try to understand which are all the tools we are going to be using but how we are going to be using in this process also let us try to understand for today itself let us list down first which are all the tools git we are going to be learning a git we are going to be learning maven jenkins jfrog sonar cube ansible microsoft azure docker kubernetes vagran negios elk elastic log stack skibana and terra so these are all the tools we are going to be learning for implementing our 
devops transparent pipe which are all the previous guys please git maven jenkins jfrog sonar q ansible microsoft azure docker kubernetes vagrant negios elk terra by helping of these are all the tools we are implementing this devops transparent pipe but how how exactly we can able to implement let us try to understand where we are going to be using what are the purpose of these role the tools let us try to understand one by one let us what is it okay? for all using by, by using using all of this yeah. for by using these role the tools we can implement this an automated process but which area which place we are using these role the tools let us try to understand right so are we part of coding yes are we writing any coding no we are, part of we are part of the coding we are not writing any coding but so but our responsibility is what exactly maintenance whatever the lines of code is written by developer those lines of code is going to be maintaining by git we are maintaining on git to version control for each and every change it's going to be maintain a separate copy by us okay once if it is maintained whether the code is properly is executing or not we have to build we have to execute the project we have to execute the java project by helping of maven maven is a build tool automatically it will be execute our projects either on git git is a version control maven is a build tool either on git or maven we want to implement an automated process by helping of jenkins jenkins is a ci automation tool so the entire ci cd continuous integration continuous delivery this entire ci cd process which we can able to an implement by helping of jenkins itself jenkins is a ci automation tool it will be an implement an automated process but once if it is an integrate once if it is making working software we going to be delivering working software into the release but where we are going to be delivering our working software into the jf jfrog is a release jfrog is a jfrog is a release jfrog is a release and sonar keep is a code analyzer whether the developers are following standards or not whether the developer using right functions or not it will be analysis and it will be statistics and reports so i'll repeat git is a version control by helping of git we can maintain the lines of code. after maintain we can execute the code by maven either on git either on git and maven we can automate by helping of jenkins once if it is an integrate once if it is making working software we going to be delivering into the jfrog after the testing process yes after testing process and once if it is done we going to be verify the code analysis whether the developers are following standards or not. so by helping of git maven jenkins jfrog sonar cube we are going to be in implementing a continuous integration making working software and continuous delivery continuous delivery the entire ci cd process which we can able to implement by helping of these are all once if it is an implement once if it is an implement we going to be deploying our applications on hundreds of servers we going to be deploying our applications on hundreds of servers we're going to be deploying our applications on hundreds of servers that is which you are calling as what deployment but how how exactly we can by helping of configuration management what is in exactly configuration management replacing a manual process manual configuration process with what an automated process on hundreds of production servers which you are calling as what configuration management example we have a hundred such servers i want to create a file i want to create a file i want to install a software i want to edit a file i want to uninstall i want to copy the files is it really possible manually at a time 
no we want to do it by at a time at a time at a time on a same time automatically is it really possible no so that is the reason what we're expecting so we're going to be replacing a manual process with what an automated process on hundreds of survey either creating files changing files we can do automatically at a time on hundreds of servers that is which you are calling as what configuration manager so for that which tool we're going to be learning ansible ansible is a configuration management tool this is a push model so by helping of ansible we can automate how many servers guys please hundreds of servers but from where where exactly we can able to get these hundreds of servers from where exactly we can able to get a hundreds of servers either from physically or from virtual environment or from cloud which cloud azure cloud from azure cloud we can able to get a hundreds of servers those hundreds of servers we can automate by helping of ansible i'll repeat this point getting hundreds of servers from azure on top of hundreds of azure servers we can automate by helping of ansible so not only placing not only placing our websites on servers not only placing our websites on servers aws uh, azure servers we can able to place our applications on docker containers also what is an exactly docker container docker container is an isolated entity which you can place our websites very easily with low cost with high performance with low cost with high performance what is a docker container docker container is a isolated area which you can place our websites very easily with low cost with high quality so for example for our understanding let's say real time containers how we are using this container same the docker containers also. maybe it is fish frames maybe other products we can transport but by using docker containers we can able to use only a websites like java.net python application that is the major difference but these containers we can manage by ship am i right we can control or manage by. these are all containers managed by the single ship the same way all our docker containers we can able to manage by the kubernetes kubernetes is a orchestration tool by helping of kubernetes we can manage all our docker containers all our docker containers and we're going to be learning vagrant vagrant is a virtual provisioning tool by helping of vagrant easily creating a virtual machines in your laptop easily creating virtual machines in your laptop and we're going to be learning negios negios is a system monitoring like whether server is up or down what are the ram what are the cpu what is the utilization we can able to keep on monitoring and we will get a statistics and reports and we're going to be learning Elk, elastic lock stacks kibana elastic lock stacks kibana elk by helping of elk we can able to monitor our application if you go for any application internally generating a logs internally generating a logs those logs will be monitored on top of it it will be generate analytic analytics and reports we can able to we can able to review how exactly they are performing an application whether it's speed high slow medium and based on that we can take actions and we're going to be learning terraform terraform is a cross cloud platform we can use in aws we can use in azure google any cloud it is a cross cloud platform means what creating a servers by helping of terraform on any cloud by helping of terraform we can automate process on any cloud so by helping of git maven jenkins jfro sonar cube ansible microsoft azure docker kubernetes vagrant negios elk and terraform we can able to an implement an automated devops transparent pipe what is the devops understood very clearly so the same process we are going to be implement a normal devops process and as well as an azure process 
in a job devops both pipelines we we are going to be experienced a normal devops process we are experiencing and azure devops pipeline also we going to be implementing in azure these two are we are going to be learning that's what it is taking time okay that's what exactly for today's session so what we have discussed for today what is a devops i think so we are understand for today's session am i right mm -hmm. but tomorrow what is an exactly for tomorrow so what is azure what is azure administration and what is the difference between azure administration with azure devops what is the difference between these two we going to be conclude by tomorrow's session and another day after tomorrow maybe to today's uh, devops tomorrow azure and difference between azure and devops we understand to tomorrow and day after tomorrow we going to be start our regular session practical session will be started up day after tomorrow this is our exactly plan for today tomorrow day after tomorrow and we going to be start with course with what azure ends with what devops that is a plan uh, and one more thing some of the students are late join but let me repeat the course or you better let them get benefit okay so this course is totally around complete azure devops complete azure administration will be covered total around 5 months okay so linux basics required shell script required that will be covered if you don't know don't worry no program in java dot net python is not required you required a laptop with this configuration for daily practice who can join in this course freshers can join in this course experienced students can join in this course any graduate can also join in this course daily class recording videos after the payment via google, google. resume preparation enter the question and answers 80% of soft meters i'm going to be providing so our course starts with very basic level finish with what advanced level each and every class is a practical implemented in front of you that you need to practice in your lab after completion of course you'll receive one certificate from our institute daily one hour class 6 am to 7 am that is a fixed the classes are monday to saturday the sunday is a complete half so you're going to be paying 10000 rupees for complete azure devops azure administration for daily recordings so this is our admin number please talk to admin for regarding registration payments or recording sessions or any kind of meeting links any delay any problem while joining and meeting please call to this number and uh, our admin will help you this is our course content link if you are uh, copy paste in any browser you can able to see my document list what i'm covering devops what i'm covering in azure you can able to come so i'm going to be copy paste this in the chat box please be get it out okay that's it so do you have any questions please for today's session all the students do you have any questions please any questions please any questions please for today's session yes please Okay. Shall we continue by tomorrow? Thank you. Tomorrow, as and as what Azure administration. What is Azure? What is the difference between Azure and DevOps? Will be continue by tomorrow. Thanks for your valuable time. Will continue by tomorrow. Thank you.